the Iraqi government is currently debating a new law which would create a mandatory five-day waiting period for the purchase of all explosive suicide vests. Is this a violation of an Iraqi citizen's right to own a suicide bomb? Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome into the ranch. Our kind of a serious topic today, and it's uh, title of this is Elvis, Are You Kidding? And you see this with a lot of the men in the community. That when they have the chance to strut like peacocks and show off their show off their weapons, I always kind of cringe and think about the people that will see that video. The ones that don't brandish it, they don't want people to know around with something and you're going to get caught out and this is the reality of what's likely to happen is that weapon will probably be used against you because I don't know if you have the mental faculties to be able to keep your wits about you in a situation like that. I also question whether you would have the ability to carry through and use lethal force if you were required. You know, let's be real about stuff. In their head. A lot of these people watch these YouTube channels with <clears throat> these big old tough guys showing what they're made of. And of course, the kids think that's the coolest thing they have. They want to create that doubt in people's mind, that, that moment of hesitation and wonder. You know, what am I getting into if I encounter this person? It's for protection, for sport, for sport. It's not for playing games. It's not for being a tough guy on video. Are you going to maim and injure somebody because you don't have the thought processes or who else might be hurt? Don't talk about it. Well, this, is, this law is good. It's a waiting period. It just makes sure if someone is going to blow themselves up, he's had the time to think about the decision. We don't need new suicide vest laws. What we just need to do is enforce the ones that are already in place. And look at the restrictions that are already on the suicide vest. You, you can't have napalm, for example, a nuclear vest you can't have. I don't think it is fair to be treated as a criminal for simply using a suicide vest in a responsible and proper manner. We're looking for a waiting period. That's all we're asking. I mean, I would like to see an outright ban myself. I, I, I don't know why would. we need this. Going to take out people. Large amounts of people. Right, well, absolutely. I mean, there are so many practical uses Certainly, um, settling uh, uh, legitimate family feuds, uh, unpaid dowries, perhaps. Good point. Right, and it's part of a collector's item uh, for the embroidery, for instance. Very, very beautiful. The colors of the wires and the way they are. You know that this industry has only one goal, and that goal is to sell more vests. They don't care who blows up. They don't care if you're young or old. They don't care if you're Sunni no, or Shiite. Number one, they do care who they blow up. But number two, the way I knew them growing up, it was a tradition. The family got around. Right. They gathered explosives from but around the neighborhood and they built the vest. There are different. many suicide vest enthusiasts who feel that Iraq should not ban them outright, but should simply focus on training and education. I agree. If you have a suicide vest, you want to separate the detonator from the vest itself. You know, you have to yeah. keep yeah. children safe. I also think it is a bad idea to give it to children. It's a waste. They're very short, and the exploding shrapnel is usually flying too low to do any damage whatsoever. So right. Well, if you're going to use effective. a suicide yeah. vest, you just get yourself to a range and demonstrate you know how to use it. Uh, certainly. And, and if you're going to have one, make sure you keep them away from kerosene-soaked American flags. This is how my, my brother died. He, he just, oh, you know, that's Well, he was careless. I mean, yeah. Yeah.